All right, guys, I'm beyond excited for this. I've been kind of holding out for this uh, for the past couple days. When I was at End War, I talked to a rep from Dart Zone, from Primetime Toys, and he said, hey, yeah, we like the sound of your channel. We'll go ahead and send you some stuff so you can take a look at it before it hits the shelves. And wow, we did they deliver. Here we've got a stat sheet for all of the um, all of the blasters that are coming out in August. So we've got the Adventure Force Light Commander Motorized Light Up Blaster, a Walmart exclusive. Uh, that's this guy right here. So we got just a lot of stuff. We got some darts. Looks like 50 darts. The this is what I'm really excited for. I got to take a look at this while I was at End War. The Dart Zone Ballistics Ops. This is a pump action ball blaster. They say power ball. They say play the game, live the game. Now I have never identified with anything more than that statement right there. You live the game, you play the game. So I wow, there's quite a few zip ties in here. So I'm just using my snips to release this blaster from its cardboard prison. This blaster runs off of a hopper, um, like an actual, similar to a paintball marker hopper. And these balls are, I'd say they're just a little bit firmer than rival balls, which is not the end of the world. Obviously cornucopia balls were quite a bit harder and the community still accepted them pretty readily until uh, Headshot came out. This thing, let's see, does have a safety on it. Wow, that spring is powerful. Wow. I almost feel like this thing needs a stock, otherwise it's just kind of a like a sawed-off shotgun or something. I think I got two rounds left. Nope, it does not have slam fire, unfortunately. This thing is really powerful. MSRPing for $17, $18. Right, there's the hopper, and I was told, we're gonna test this out, that it is completely compatible with, oh yeah. Kinda double-fed there. Wow. Whoops. All right, I think it double fed there. So while compatible with Nerf magazines, that is not the ideal setup, but if you have just a lot of Nerf magazines for the ball blasters, it will work, which is exciting because I have quite a few. Wow. This thing is a solid pickup for 18 United States dollars. I, uh, I can't wait to see these hit the shelves. They will be hitting the shelves on August, um, or during the month of August. The ergonomics of this blaster is very nice. The uh, front grip is solid. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but it's not too small. The spring on this thing is just absolutely ridiculously strong. I think this one might be stronger than the one that was at at End War, which is saying something, because that one was really strong too. So this is a definite buy. I love this. I can't wait to pick up another one and uh, use these at the next Recon War. We might actually have to start having designated rival rounds just because of this thing. I love this. So that's been my review of the Powerball uh, ballistics Ops from Dart Zone. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's more videos here and a little subscription uh, button right there. Of course, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think that the Ballistics Ops is worth it. I definitely think it is. I'd love to hear what you guys think. So, thanks for watching guys.